because I thought I'm gonna lose my baby. What's up fam? Welcome to a new section of our YouTube channel called Parents Way. Uh, we started this section because we want to share our experiences, our challenges, uh, the lessons that we have learned uh, and are still learning about this thing called parenting. So uh, that's why we started this. So uh, it seems fun for us to do this. So uh, just uh, an introduction. My name is Stefan. I'm 37 years old. And my name is Abby and I'm 35 years old. We have a daughter named Araya and she's two years and three months old. Yes, so uh, in today's episode, we want to uh, talk about pregnancy, uh, labor, and yeah, after the whole shebang and that kind of stuff, how we experienced, how Abby experienced it, and how I as a father experienced it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, start. How was the experience of the pregnancy for you? Well, I had a good experience with the pregnancy. The first 12 weeks, I most of the women are nauseous, mm -hmm. but I didn't have that. Maybe mm -hmm. one or two times I didn't throw up at all. And during the second trimester, it was, uh, was still okay. After 16 weeks, then you saw my belly. I had a little belly. And during the third trimester at 30 weeks, uh, it was getting heavier. It was also Corona and there was uh, hot summer weather in Holland. So that was uh, difficult, the third trimester. Was it physical, uh, physically uh, heavy? Uh, yes, physically and mentally also, because mm -hmm. I think um, about 32nd week, uh, I went to work. And I saw a lot. Uh, I saw a lot of blood, and that was the was the difficult was very difficult for me because it's not normal to lose blood during your. It's kind of normal to lose blood during your pregnancy, but not at your thirty second week. So I thought maybe there's something wrong with the baby. So I yeah. called you mm -hmm. to come to pick me up. I was at work. It was like seven thirty or seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we rushed to the hospital and uh, I had to calm down. Thankfully, you were there for me, but it was a difficult time. Since uh, the 32nd week of my pregnancy, it was mentally uh, heavy for me. Mm. Yeah, because I thought I'm going to lose my baby. Mm. Because it took five years to get pregnant. It's okay, it's okay. I wanted to sh make sure that Abby was fine and the baby was all right. And indeed, at the 32nd week, when uh, Abby had blood, yeah, I, I also freaked out. And um, then after that, we got the checkup, checked the heart rate of the baby, of uh, Abby, and everything went well. Everything right? went yeah. well, yeah. But it was, for me, it was, uh, I was stressing out and yeah, you know, the biggest fear at that moment for me was losing our first child mentally that was the hardest and scariest thing of course so uh, but luckily everything was fine during the pregnancy overall it went well actually overall right? the was, pregnancy uh, went well only the from the first day i was pregnant till the 32nd week everything went, went well fine. yeah it went fine it actually. went fine i can walk i did a lot of stuff i traveled by myself so araya was a little stubborn she is uh, stubborn actually so uh her head was flipped over it was downwards uh, no it was up oh it was up oh sorry yeah so uh araya's head was uh upwards so they needed to flip her so the the labor would be easier or yeah, would yeah would be easier for Abby so uh, the doctor said yeah we have to tip her over so we had an appointment at the hospital again <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, the, the the doctors there were two doctors I was there as well and they they turned Abby's belly uh, actually the Araya at, in her belly they tried to tip her over but she, <laughs> she wouldn't she, 
and she wouldn't turn over and I saw the doctors turning and uh, squeezing her belly and grabbing her belly. I saw it happen. I, I, I felt the pain. It was very, and I saw Abby crying from the pain and it was, yeah, it was very horrible to see that. And the doctor, after a couple of times trying, they decided, okay, you know what? She's too stubborn. We just uh, leave it as it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, Abby was planned to have a C-section, so uh, we planned a C-section on Friday. 19th October? Yeah, no, yeah. October 19th, and uh, it was funny, the, the Tuesday we went, uh, we went for a walk, we had lunch, everything went well, we had, yeah, we did uh, some grocery shopping and that kind of stuff. And I we, walked a lot? Yeah, I walked a lot, and in the evening we, we just relaxed and uh, chilled. And we were in bed, and I was watching a movie, I think. And you were also, yeah, you were half, half watching, and then yeah. you were sleeping. And it was uh, like eleven thirty in the evening or something. Yeah. And um, and Abby uh, suddenly uh, said to me, "I feel something. I feel something strange." And I was like, uh, "Okay, should we uh, call the hospital?" Uh, and Abby was like, uh, "You think?" <laughs> and uh, and uh, immediately I called the, the hospital and they said, yeah, come by um, as you can. So I went to the hospital and I was actually freaking out. I was going to Araya's room. I was going to the living room. I was going to the kitchen. I was going to the toilet. And Abby was like, uh, okay. He, he went to see every room. So I had to calm him down. Yeah, yeah. She, needed, she needed to calm me down. And, yeah. And after that, we went to the, to the hospital. And uh, yeah, twelve thirty. Twelve thirty or something. At night. And we had yeah. to wait and that kind of stuff. And then uh, the doctor said she did, did a check, and then she uh, discussed with the other colleague, and then she came back, and then she told us, "Okay, we're gonna t we're going to prepare you, and um, yeah, so uh, for labor and for the C-section, so uh, the baby can come." So I was like, "Okay, wait." <laughs> Are you saying the baby is coming now? And she said, yes, the baby is coming now. And I was like, no, no, we, we had plans. And she was supposed to come uh, October 19, this Friday. Not today, Friday. No, 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 it was uh, October 15. Oh, could be, yeah, 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 15, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, no, she, uh, she was planning to come October 15, this Friday. She can't come now and everything. And uh, I was freaking out a little bit. And uh, the doctor was like, yeah, but she can't wait. She needs to come out now. The doctors prepared me and they prepared also Stefan. Yeah, they had to prepare me. Yeah, <laughs> we went to separate rooms because he had to change. I had to change. And then I had the epidural. So I saw Stefan when I was in the operation, operation uh, room. And it was like... So then it was 2 o'clock. And the C-section was happening and then she was just laying there and... Yeah, I saw in her uh, in her eyes. She was, of course, she was scared. I was scared as well. And uh, they said, "Yeah, look at the the monitor, so you can see the the, the C section and how they do it." And I, I couldn't see it because yeah, it was hard for me to see my wife getting that 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 cut that C section. So, but eventually, I had to look, and yeah, I, I watched it, and yeah, it was pretty amazing to see and experience that. And then the doctor said, uh, "Yeah, look at your uh, look at your daughter daughter," and uh, I was like. I was like, oh, okay. I was <laughs> freaking out, and I, I was happy, of course. But yeah, I was, I was so, yeah. Everything so, happened. So many things. Many happened. things happened. I was thinking about that. I, I was also thinking about about Abby, uh, how she's doing, and that kind of stuff. And after that, Abby was like in in shock. I saw it in her face. She also didn't want to to hold. Uh, Araya. No, it she, was more. I I was in shock indeed. Yeah. But I I couldn't move. I was shaking. Yeah, she was because I was lying there. So and my arms were like this. So how can I hold my baby? Yeah, there was. I was uh, looking like I have no emotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was like emotionless, looking upwards. And, yeah, uh, but yeah, I had but morphine and yeah. I don't know so many medical things. Yeah. They took Araya to a separate room and they checked her, cleaned her up and uh, after that the nurse asked me if I could go to Araya and bring her to our room and I was like okay I need to go to Araya but I can't leave Abby here still in shock and that kind of stuff. So I told her Abby I have, I have to go, I have to check on our daughter so I have to leave you here with these people just be okay okay. And I was still thinking in my head for, oh, what is happening with Abby? And so I went, went to the, the, the other room and I saw Araya and I was emotional. I was seeing her. I was so happy to see her. 
And uh, yeah, after that, we brought her to, uh, to our room. And then she gave Araya to me and I was holding her and made a photo of us. And I looked like a teenage father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a great experience. And Araya came 2.44. 2.44. At night. At night. And we didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Actually, Abby slept uh, that day. It was heavy. I mean, because, yeah, it was waking up every three hours. Yeah. Yeah, every three hours. Every three giving hours. Giving Araya her milk and that kind of stuff. I enjoyed it, but it was it was really, really heavy. I had to rest bef- uh, because of my C-section, so I yeah. couldn't do anything. And then we, we slept two days in uh, or two nights in the hotel three nights uh, yeah actually three nights yeah i felt lonely actually it, it sounds weird because we're this new family we're just the three of us but yeah it was so lonely we were locked up in our hotel room we could have stayed they asked us uh that we could stay but i was like no i want to go home i want to bring our daughter home to her home and uh, yeah take care of her there and luckily i picked it up fast the diaper changes and the feeding it went very uh, yeah it went very well so uh, and now she's almost no now she's almost two and a half and now she's almost two and a half still stubborn yeah stubborn saying no all the time no. but yeah. yeah so uh do you want to say anything else about the entire experience of being pregnant, labor, and after that? Labor is the most scary thing. It's the most scary thing for a woman. Labor, yeah, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. So do you want to say something else? No. That was it for now. Okay, great. We shared our experience about the... uh, the the pregnancy the labor and after that and uh, yeah hopefully you like this video uh, of our new section parents way and we definitely will talk about other topics relating to parenting and uh, and that kind of stuff so uh, yeah hopefully you like this video if you did please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one